guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Urban with another I Try series. It's going to be on uh, this Yum Universal box. It says The Land of Palms. There you guys can see there the little title. Not really sure where that is, but I'm going to assume it is Brazil, maybe? Because it has, it has that Christ statue there. Um, you guys can see that on the camera. So, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see what we're... Oh, yep. I am right. It is from Brazil. Uh, that's going to be today's snacks. Guys, before I uh, continue opening this box, a few things. If you have not done so, make sure you subscribe. Comment, like, and share this video, guys. Uh, this is probably, right now, one of my favorite series uh, because I get to try new snacks. Uh, but also, it's 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 uh, new, it's fresh in my, in, in my channel. So make sure you comment, like, and share if you like this video. That lets me know that I should continue doing these videos. Uh, also, uh, thank you so much for and support we are at 3100 already uh, we're gonna go to 32 3200 hopefully before the next month or by the next month so thank you again for that support that you guys do show my channel if you want to further support join the discord it is open for everyone anyone one of the best communities that you guys can join okay let's start Brazil haven't had much stuff from Brazil, but I have had some food, not snacks. Uh, I have had friends that are from Brazil that have cooked for me, so uh, I'm not completely uh, oblivious of the culture. So uh, it comes with a little book, and uh, again, uh, this this company does a great job with giving us information of the country, as well as some trivia and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that just because I know it is um, not that necessary. So uh, there's something different in this booklet, and uh, I'm wondering why they did this, but um, it, it looks like that they decided to add nutrition facts for you there on the side, and that's I guess that's that's nice. So we will start from the list here on the book. So I'll, I'll move around the snacks here, um, but the first one is the mandioca chips cebola. Uh, or oh, that cebola? Is it Italian? Like like an Italian C or I don't know. I don't know, speak Portuguese. Uh, cassava chips with onion and parsley. Uh, there it is. These don't sound that bad, to be honest. These sound like they're gonna be good. They look like they're gonna be good. Let's just let's just dive into them. Um, they don't smell weird. Oh yeah, these are good. Onion and parsley. That doesn't sound weird. Um. Whoa. That gave me the taste of of carne asada. Wow, I wonder if it's the onion flavor. Those are good. I would say the chips are a little bit stale. Um, I'm not sure if that's my fault for having the box for about a month in my house, or uh, it, they shouldn't have gone stale that fast. They are a little bit stale though. They're not not the best chips. Good flavor though. I love the flavor. Oh gosh, that's good. Okay, next one. It's gonna be Bibbs Morongo Extreme, and I'm gonna look this up. See, okay, there's two of them, so I'll start with the first one. Morongo Extreme. Not sure what that means. Oh, white chocolate with strawberries. Um, it, if you know me, and you guys want to know me more, I don't like for whatever reason. I just don't like white chocolate, um, but. We'll give it a try. I will say, out of all the items, this is probably one of the highest calorie one. It has 310 calories. Uh, I will say that's in the entire bar. I don't, I don't see a lot of people eating the entire bar at one sitting, but some people would. So um, if this was, you know, good chocolate, I probably would. So there they are. It's just white little blocks. They look like. Kit Kat blocks, not Kit Kat blocks, like Hershey blocks. Okay. 
You can definitely taste strawberry flavor in the white chocolate. I think if it was anyone else but me, they would have enjoyed that and loved it and thought, dang, that's the best chocolate I've ever had. But I don't know. It's just not for me for whatever reason. I don't like the taste of white chocolate. Um, I don't know. It's too creamy. Um, it, it doesn't taste like how chocolate should taste. So, oh well. I'm going to clear my palate for the next one, which is uh, the green bag, Delicitos. Um, I, I want to do specify because I know this is a very common uh, misunderstanding. Although Brazil is in South America, Brazil is uh, one of the only countries in South America that doesn't speak Spanish. They do speak some Spanish, but their their native language or their main language is uh, Portugal. Uh, so, although I can say some of these names, I don't know what most of this thing says. Uh, so, Salgadinho de Trigo. Not sure what that means. So, it says, we snack with chili pepper seasoning. So, okay. Um... Uh, it says, it's no secret Brazilians like things hot, just like at the country's favorite chili paper, the Maragueta. I've heard about that. It has a Scoville rating of 100,000, a whooping 40 times spicier than the average jalapeno. Wow. Oh, these are good. Um... They're very hard to describe to a flavor that I don't think exists. Oh, I, I know I know what you're excited to. Um, there's an American snack that are um, kind of a cone-shaped chip uh, that they sell in, I think, everywhere here in the U.S. I, I, I um, don't remember the name, but they taste like that. That's, that's the kind of like the texture and the flavor when it comes to the wheat part other thing the chili pepper seasoning is completely different it's not spicy um these i would say i would say hot cheetos will be spicier than these um and hot cheetos in my point of view are not spicy so let's continue um next one is going to be pacoquita um is it you guys it is you guys okay um, there's a whole sticker on this, so you guys won't be able to see it properly, but, um, it's this yellow one on the booklet. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, it says every June Brazilians put on their best farmer's costumes and take to the streets where they play fiddles, perform square dances, and light enormous bonfires. I did not know that. <laughs> part religious festival and part harvest festival. Festa Junina was adapted from European Midsummer Festival's Brazilian uh, farmers called Caipiras, uh, who incorporate their favorite rural traditions. Um, okay, so this is a traditional, I guess, type of snack, or it's it's based off a traditional snack that they serve in that festival. Um, it said peanut butter. I, I like how there's like a warning sign on this booklet saying this stuff might contain peanuts and tree nuts and wheat and milk. So if you're allergic to any of that stuff, don't eat it. Um, so it looks kind of weird to be honest. It looks like um, it looks like dough. Um, it, it has that consistency. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Mm. If okay, if you're Hispanic, which I know I I, I have quite a bit of Hispanics in my group. If you ever had a mazapan, which is a Mexican snack, it tastes just like that. Oh. That's good. Mm. I would even dare to say that this is better than the mazapan from Mexico. Because um, you get more of that peanut flavor that people love from the mazapan. That thing is good. That's going to be in my top top three of today for sure uh next one pipoca doce bilu sweet popcorn based in the word alone what kind of yum are you picturing 
caramel corn. Uh, nope. What is it? The authentic sweet popcorn is made from different kind of corn called kanjika. Instead of popping, kanjika kernels retain their shape and expand, becoming super soft and airy. Just add sugar and you got a hugely popular Brazilian snack. Okay, so they're cooked differently. They look different. They don't look like popcorn. Um, this is how the bag looks. It looks kind of damaged to be honest, but it's not damaged. Um, yeah, it, it, they're very different. It's supposed to be airy. It does have a popcorn consistency. I, they're not, they're not as soft as some American popcorn can be. Um, but yeah, there's like that sponginess to the, to the popcorn. There's a sponginess to it, but it's still firm. It's still very firm. It's not... I guess I was expecting something like cotton candy when it said airy. So it's not cotton candy soft, but it is softer than regular popcorn. Um, it's not bad. It's not good. It's a roasted popcorn. Um, I can taste the roasted part to it, to be honest. The the sugar, the, the sweet part of it... It is not that sweet, to be honest. It's, it's all right. All right. Let's keep on moving, because that one was just all right. It wasn't the best. Um, but it wasn't the worst either. The next one is going to be another bib. Another bib. Ah, Flocos bib. Uh, this one looks like actual chocolate. Oh, okay. There's a second type of chocolate that I'm not a big fan of, and this is what this is. It's kind of annoying, <laughs> the fact that they did both of these on the same box. Uh, the other type of chocolate that I'm not a big fan of is rice, riced up chocolate. The one that has like the rice crisps, crisp to it. And that's what this one is. Uh, again, the little squares, this is dark chocolate. It says, ready for a Portuguese lesson? You need it for this yum. The word flocos means flakes. You'll need to know how to say it if you want to talk about flocos de neve, uh, flocos de pimienta, which means snowflakes and paper flakes. Or you want to understand the chocolate bar, here it's called flocos. Okay. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I eat the rest, but uh uh, too dark. <laughs> it's like the darkest chocolate I've ever tasted. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's too dark. Too dark of a chocolate, and it has that rice crisps. No, no, fam. This is not going to be in the top <laughs> at all. This is going to be in the bottom of the list. Uh, the last thing we have is caramel torta de, lim de limão, lime pie flavored milk caramel. Wow, that's a flavor to have. Um, guess I'll just open this bag. They come in these yum these yum bags. They call them. Um, they've been doing this for quite often in these in their boxes where they provide these yum bags that have these these candies. That I guess you can put out. Um, well, it looks like there was two flavors. I wonder if they're both the same. I don't want to open both of them if they're not. Um, they're not the same flavor. For whatever reason, they didn't put the second flavor here. Oh, it is there. I didn't even see it. It's in the other side. Okay, so... Uh, one is passion fruit flavor caramel, and the other one is lime. I'm gonna try the passion fruit one because that's the first one that doesn't doesn't sound as appetizing. Uh, so we'll see how this one tastes first. Actually, it was not bad. Um. 
caramel is sweet on its own. This made it twice as sweeter. I can probably eat this, just one of these, and be good. Um, I don't see myself eating three, four at a time, which you probably shouldn't anyways. Because uh, just one of these is 80 calories. They're so small. If you eat a whole bag, you, you, can, you can kill yourself pretty fast. Okay. Next one is the lime. Lime caramel. It's pretty good too. I will say though, I like the passion fruit better than the lime one. The passion fruit was better than the lime. I love, I love caramel. Caramel, caramel, however you say it. Uh, great flavor. The only thing I don't like, I like about these candies is that it, it's sticking on my teeth, but that just happens. So anyways, uh, great box, guys. It, it, it was quite a good box. I, I really did enjoy it. So um, thank you again so much for your love and support for those who are supporting my channel. If you have not done so by now, guys, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what else I should try. I know some of you guys have already uh, said that you want me to buy some creation snacks. I'm looking for those. Uh, some of you guys have even promised me to send me snacks. If you want to send me snacks uh, so I can try them, let me know through the Discord, through Twitter, and uh, I, I can let you know how to get them to me. And uh, I would love to to try snacks from all over the world. Next week I have, um, I believe they're Chinese Lay's. Uh, they're all Lay's, they're from China, and they have all these different flavors that are not really from this side of the world. So we'll try them and see how they taste, hopefully. Um, not so bad and thank you guys again for watching this uh, make sure you subscribe comment like and share um, after that Chinese chips I think I have another yum box for you guys and then we'll see what else we can do for you guys thank you again for your love and support and guys like always don't be strangers see you guys